mechanism. Uh, not only that, if we talk about Hindu mythology, actually we are the history of science, but uh, we are Hindu that very well. We also uh, have incarnated. It means now we are humans. <coughs> In earlier time, we might be of different life, right? But the God just comes and he does some sort of um, better things and he becomes famous. It's just like that. So because of our activities in present time, uh, we will have luxurious life or terrible life. And um, next time, whether we'll be in the same form or different form, we don't know. Uh, so actually, Krishna has got altogether 24 incarnations. They say Dos Avatar, actually Dos Avatar, not like that. There are 24 altogether. Vishnu's, Vishnu's. So, when you talk about Dos Avatar, the eighth Avatar is, eighth incarnation is Lord Krishna. Actually, he was born very difficultly, right? So, inside the uh, cage, right? Prison. Very terrible time, even though later on he did lots of labor, this and that. And he was able to eradicate those negative energies. Actually, he is uh, regarded as positive energy. We have to gain positive energy. And if you get some time, then don't forget to visit some Krishna temples. So there may be some Krishna temple nearby. If not so, also there may be some Krishna statue or portrait. They should go worship. Uh, that is one matter. And our second matter is presentation. I'm very happy because the students are really um, active for their activities. Um, so next time onwards, while sending this um, presentation, please write your group name, either Whittaker or Edison. I found some of the students, they have written their group also. Uh, so it looks very nice as well. So let me check here uh, the duty of the group. First, I think Newton's group, right? Einstein? Einstein. Einstein, Einstein. Einstein member were they? But I'm very happy. Ritika was the first person to send that uh, slide. Eh? Where is Ritika? Yeah, give her a big round of applause. She prepares very fast. She prepares very fast. Uh, I think, uh, which first one? Ritika? Raju's. Okay, Raju's presentation is there. So, uh, now onwards, what do I do? I will call two persons here. One will read thoroughly. Next will explain. Will that be okay? That's why there will be presentation of both people also. And we can discuss inside our class and for some will be over. So Raju, uh, whom are you going to call? You, you, you can call yourself. Raju and? Oh. No, who are the members? You forgot? Who are they? Yeah. So who want to call? You call, you, you, you are um, the candidate to call. Okay. Nirajan will read. And he will explain, okay? So, the sentence reading will be done by Nirajan and explanation will be done by Raju. Please come here. Come here. Please come this way. Uh, everybody, please pay attention to what they are going to explain. And later on, you will be writing. Uh, we will be solving something. Okay. Namaskar, my name is Minira from group Einstein. Today I'm here to uh, read the topic The Universe, presented by Raju. Uh, Albert Einstein, Albert Einstein was a German born physicist who is widely regarded as one of the most influential scientific scientists of the 20th century. He is the best known for de developing the theory of uh, relativity, which revalidated re our understanding of space time, gravity, and the universe. Legacy Einstein's theory, Einstein's theory and discourse have 
had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe and have led to numerous technology ad advancements. His work continues to inspire scientists and researchers around the world. Okay, now from your country. Right. So to give you that country, then you can explain it to me and then go. Are you okay, sir? Sir, yeah, yeah. animation? Yeah. Anything there? Any animation, then you have to download. Depends then you have to download the tape. Get it downloaded. Bad area, good idea. Right? See? Pain is mightier than sword. Style of keeping the pen. That's why great people, they do the things. I'm keeping here. Yes, sir. Why is he keeping here? Because he doesn't have pocket. Has your pocket? Then at least he has to keep that pen or not. Okay, it is taking a little bit time. So, great scientist. E equals to MC square. Actually, he proposed that in 1905 and he got Nobel Prize in 1911. After how many years? Six, six, six years. So, people they just uh, appreciate. Uh, sometimes early, sometimes later, we discuss about Mendel. So Mendel was not appreciated. Was he appreciated? After his death, then people, they regarded him as father of genetics. Yes. You follow it? Yes. Gregor Jan Mendel, Gregor Jan yes. Mendel. So 15.2 MB is there. So much is there. But as today is very special day, here we have got Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, right? Okay, so these are the things. Um, now, from the beginning, right? Yes, so one, one will come and decide, another will decide. Okay. 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 Oh my god, looks nice, right? My group name is Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born in German, German theoretical physician who is widely regarded as one of the most influenced scientists of 20th century. He is best known for developing uh, the theory of relativity, which uh, revolutionized an understanding of space time, gravi uh, gravity, and the universe. Uh, My topic uh, consists introduction of universe, gravitational force and the universe, origin of universe, Big Bang Theory. Introduction about the universe. Okay, the universe. You, will read, you will read and you explain that. Okay, you will read. Introduction to the universe. The universe is, is everything that exists from the smallest subprometic particles to the biggest galaxies. It encompasses all the all of uh, space, time, matter, and energy. Our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving, thanks to achievements in technology and scientific uh, scientific research. Uh, key components of the universe are galaxy. They these are massive collection of star gas, dust, and dark matter. Our Milky Way galaxy is just one of billions in the observable universe. Stars the these are celestial bodies made up of plasma that emit light and heat. Our sun is a typical star. Uh, planets, these are celestial bodies that orbit a star and do not produce their own light. Earth is one of eight planets in our solar system. Moons, these are natural satellites. Which revolves around Earth as one moon 
Aster asteroids, these are small rocky Bio bodies in the universe. Huh? In the universe. In the universe. Yes. Comets, these are icy bodies uh, that <laughs> tail of gas and dust. So the introduction of universe. Universe is everything that exists from the smallest of uh, atomic particle to the vastest galaxy. The uh, universe contains uh, galaxy, stars, planets, moons, asteroid, comets. As you all know, uh, it's all are the component of universe. There are uh, ga galaxy. Uh, our Earth lies in Milky Way galaxy. The gravitational force and the universe. A gravitational force uh, is one of the four fundamental forces of nature along with electromagnetic, strong nuclear and weak nuclear forces. It is the force that attracts objects with mass towards each other. This force is responsible for holding planets in orbit around stars galaxy together and even the structure of the universe itself. Importance of gravitational force in the universe, formation of new stars and planets. Orbit of plants and satellites, change in the forms of heavenly bodies, death of stars, uh, expansion of the universe, etc. Gravitational force is one of the four fundamental forces in nature. Due to gravitational force, the uh, planets revolve around the uh, sun. And there are many importance of gravitational force in the universe. Uh, due to gravitational force, uh, new stars and planets are formed. Orbit of plants and satellites, change in the form of heavenly body. Death of star is also caused due to gravitational force and expansion of universe. Next topic is origin of the universe, Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is a scientific theory about how the universe started and then made the groups of stars called galaxies. We see today the universe began as very hot and hot, small and Density with no star um, uh, atoms form a structure called a uh, singularity. The Big Bang theory is the prevailing uh, cosmologic uh, uh, model for the universe from the earliest known periods through its subsequent so large scale evolution. What does the Big Bang theory state? The Big Bang theory states that the universe began to cool down some uh, in order to allow the formation of particles that will later become atoms from after its initial phase of expansion, uh, primordial elements hydrogen, helium, and lithium coincidence through gravity that from early stars and galaxies in similar terms, it can be stated that. The universe inflated into the cosmic system 13.8 billion years ago to form the galaxy and the star system as we know it. So another topic is origin of the universe uh, from Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory is a scientific theory about how the uh, universe started and then made a group of stars called galaxy we see today. Uh, according to science, uh, due to Big Bang Theory, the uh, universe is formed. The universe began, uh, universe began as very hot, small and dense Whoa. with no stars, atom form or structure called uh, uh, singularity. The Big Bang theory is the prevailing uh, cos cosmological model for the universe for the earliest non period through the sub subsequent large scale evolution. Uh, what does the Big Bang theory state? Big Bang theory state that the universe began to cool down sufficiently in order to allow the formation of particles that would later become atom after in initial phase of expansion. Periodical element hydrogen, helium and lithium condensed through gravity that form uh, early star and galaxy. In simple term, we can say that it can be started that the universe inflated into the cosmic system 13.8 uh, billion years ago to form the galaxy and solar system as we know it. Thank you, have a nice day.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh very nice animation. Very lovely work by uh, Einstein, right? Albert Einstein. They have made uh, the slide of Albert Einstein as well. So, <laughs> the universe. Raju Sah, presentator. But next time onwards, uh, from today only we have started. One will be presentator, another will be a reader. Must go through that one. Because this is a group work. Yes, sir. Especially you choose that person who uh, feels a bit shy to come here. Actually, we, this is the time to learn and be more smarter. Because when you reach in grade 11, then you will uh, disperse in different colleges. And you can say, excuse me, sir. I am here to prepare the slide and present. The teacher also will be sent to flat immediately. Because uh, he mightn't have that type of students. So you have to be the different type of students. So can you can do well. Whatever, it's... Uh, why? From current slides, from beginning. Now it started, right? So we know... Uh, oh, so you can see uh, the solar system. What is this? Solar system. Solar system is one small part of the universe. For, first of all, we have to know what is universe. Universe is a vast region that includes whatever we see. What we see in the sky, that is universe. And nobody knows the expansion of universe. And what are the components of universe? So components of universe are given here. Uh, they are okay. He is the kind. He is a candidate who inspired us, and today's presentation is based on these people's disciples. Disciples. So Albert Einstein actually he was born in Germany. Later on he was he had to migrate to America to save his life because of Hitler. He is. A Jews, Jews, and Germans were Nazi. So Nazi, they thought they are the supreme classes of the world. They wanted to eradicate all, especially they were against of Yehudi. He was a Yehudi person. So he went there, and America also provided him asylum. It means a place for sleeping. And this, this is the content for today. What are they? One is introduction, gravitational force. We have discussed gravitational force means uh, it's in earlier class also. The mutual force of attraction between any two bodies in the universe. Newton's law of gravitation was also discussed, right? But we are not going to discuss all the things here. And the origin of the universe, this theory is very important. What is that? Big Bang Theory. This is the beginning only. Later on, what will happen? Whether the universe will continuously expand or stop or constrict. So, so many uh, versions are there. It depends upon the uh, scientist way of study and expression. That's why there are many scientists. In this group, in this class also, there are five, five scientists, right? Einstein is here. Whittaker is here. Newton is here. Heisenberg is here. And Mendeleev is there. See? Sometimes they may quarrel, no? One day there must be debate on those five scientists. So we have to learn in different way. So these are the components of universe. What are the components? Galaxies, group of billions of stars. Star. It is a big mass of uh, burning hydrogen gas, especially. Burning hydrogen gas. Your burning hydrogen gas means you should not think that uh, just burning like uh, in the presence of fire. What is there? Hydrogen nucleus. Nuclei fuse together. And what do they form? Heavy hydrogen. 
from heavy hydrogen they form stable hydrogen and large amount of energy is released so we get that energy in the form of heat and light which is solar energy solar energy is produced by nuclear fusion reaction in the sun not only in the sun in all stars right all stars so planets these are the opaque bodies which revolve around the stars moon that is again next opaque body that revolves around planets uh, next one it was there another thing what is that asteroids in the solar system there is big gap between the orbit of mars and jupiter big gap between the Mar uh, orbit of mars and jupiter and that contains smaller heavenly bodies those smaller heavenly bodies are called asteroids we can call them minor planet also either minor planets or asteroids it is believed that there are near about 2000 asteroids very small I means some asteroid diameter is 50 kilometer some contains 200 kilometer like that okay and next one is comet comet i think if we say comet and it become very difficult for you to understand long tail star what is this there are some heavenly bodies which are specially made up of ice and rock they are icy rock particles and they revolve around the sun in highly elliptical orbit they means i'm talking about comet when they reach near to the sun they get more heat radiation due to that radiation heat radiation the ice melts changes into water water changes into vapor that vapor rises and rises up so that it seems there is long tail when it goes far away then it gets less heat radiation and ice doesn't melt and only head can be seen when it is near to the sun head and tail when far away only head only head means that is called coma c o m a okay coma so these are the uh, members of universe uh, gravitational force mutual force of attraction between heavenly bodies and because of gravitational force there is the existence of the universe we can see isn't it we say galaxies how many galaxies are there there are it is estimated that there are 10 to the power 11 galaxies 10 to the power 11 galaxies some galaxies are very big very big means they contain billions of stars some galaxies are smaller only billion stars don't think that just lakh stars not like that many stars are present there so uh, astronomers these are the people scientists who study about those astronomy the uh, means those uh, outer space they have estimated you know our galaxy is what is the name of our galaxy milky way galaxy or it is also called sometimes spiral galaxy what do they call why do they call it spiral galaxy because of its shape you might have noticed uh, in the logo of galaxy public school if not notice you just check galaxy public schools their logo is like this spiral means galaxy is spiral shape some galaxies are spiral in shape but some are irregular in shape spiral in shape some are irregular in shape and some are elliptical in shape okay spiral irregular elliptical and this is the largest and oldest galaxy such shaped galaxies are oldest one they contain large number of galaxy stars and this is spiral medium size this is puche contains less number of galaxies so here is gravitational force between sun and earth or moon and earth actually we have to remember 
uh, there must be gravitational force between uh, two bodies. So there is gravitational force between sun and moon also. You must not think that there is not. Because if there are two masses, there is mutual force of attraction. Shoura and Sasan, they are sitting together. There is mutual force of attraction between them. I am here. In between we also there is gravitational force. That's why you must make concept clear. There is gravitational force between sun and moon or sun and earth or moon and earth, moon and Jupiter, anything. Whenever we take to there is. There is gravitational force between two amoeba also. Amoeba are single cell anim, uh, anim, uh, now they are not animals. They are um, poriferans. No, protestants. What are they? Protein. Amoeba, paramecium, they are protista. So between them also there is gravitational force. So there is importance of gravitational force. What is the first importance? Formation of new stars and planets. Orbit of planets and satellites. They just go around it. Change in the forms of heavenly bodies. Their structure may change because of this. And next one, death of stars. And next one is expansion of universe. How old is our universe? Do you know? Our universe means there is only one universe. Hey, remember. There is only one universe. I'm not talking about galaxy. Only one universe. How old is it? It is given here. Our universe is near about 14 billion years old. How many years old? 14 billion. Billion. Right? By the way, do you know the age of the sun? How old is the sun? 3.5, I think uh, that is less, you forgot. Remember, you just tried. How old is the sun? Puneva, do you know? No, uh, Luniva. Viveki. They forgot. 4.6 billion years. What is that? 4.6 billion years. That means when the universe was formed, at that time, there were no stars. We have to make our concept clear. Here is one diagram. Can you see or not? So, here is Big Bang. Big Bang. So, what is Big Bang? We'll discuss. After Big Bang, here is Dark Age. Nothing is here. Yes or no? And after Dark Age, what is here? Stars appeared. 300 million years ago. Then what is this? Early galaxies appeared. 1 billion years ago. Formation of solar system, how many? 9 billion years ago. Is it? What year? Birth day of sun means sun was formed 4.6 billion years ago. It was formed. Uh, by the way, let's remember. Sorry, how were uh, these stars formed? You forgot? There were some. Uh, idea you know? given. So, nebula. Nebula. nebula, yeah, from nebula they were formed. Nebula means very huge, very big cloud of dust particles, especially hot masses and dust particles. And in that, can one uh, horse, uh, horse shaped nebula diagram was there in grade 9? Yes or no? Yeah, so that is one example only. Still, there are many such nebulae. Actually, nebula is singular, nebulae is plural. They are in the universe. From them, what are formed? Stars. So, remember, stars are formed, stars exist, later on, stars extinct. Because of extinction of stars, different heavenly bodies were formed. You forgot in the, what we have studied in class 9? White dwarf was formed, black hole is formed, neutron star is formed. In that we have to remember. Let's inculcate those matters also. Actually, what do we do? We uh, become eager to learn till our exam time. When exam is finished, that item also goes somewhere else. That should not be done like that. Remember. And 
train your mind to memorize all those things also. Understood or not? Uh, so suppose this is um, nebula. So in different parts of nebula, <laughs> gravitational force was developed, and at the center also it was developed. Because of gravitational force, all the atoms they were pulled towards it, and it became dense one, and nuclear fusion started, and this body changed into proto star. Proto star after proto star star. And these bodies, they could not uh, go through that nuclear fusion. They became dense and it started revolving around the central mass. So, solar system was formed like this, isn't it? We have to keep in mind that there are billions of solar system in the universe. There are billions of solar system in the universe. Actually, we are near to sun. That's why we have got this solar system. Yes or no? And uh, do you know the, the nearest star from the sun? Yeah. Alpha Centauri. What is that? Alpha Centauri. In Alpha Centauri also there are planets, satellites, everything. We have to think in that way. If we have got, they also must have. Isn't it? <coughs> and which is the brightest star that is seen from the sun or from the earth? Sirius. What is that? S-I-R-I-U-S. And how far is it? It is near about 8.4 light years. Light takes 8 years to reach there. Means how far is it? You just guess it, right? Okay. So, in dark age, nothing happened. After dark age, the stars, they develop. And again, they just form a group because of uh, gravitational force. And galaxies, see, yeah, are, are, are galaxies are right? And these are galaxies, but it is shown here all the spiral galaxies, but all the spiral galaxies are not there, others are also there, and these are present. Yes. Okay, we have to know what is Big Bang theory. It states that more than 14 billion years ago, let's say. Uh, in 16 billion years ago, 18 billion years ago, there was nothing. There was nothing. And there was simply one point, one dot was there, right? And that dot started expanding. It started expanding. It's like when we blow the balloon, what will happen? Its size increases or not? So that point's size also increased, became bigger, 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 and bigger. And near about 14 billion years ago, that huge ball exploded. Huge ball exploded and the matter, what was present in it, scattered in different directions. That explosion of big ball is called Big Bang Theory. Okay. So, at the beginning, there was small dot point started expanding. Expanding, expanding, when it became too much huge, exploded, bursted, and that bursting process is called Big Bang. And after Big Bang, see, they scattered different directions and formed the universe. Now also, what have the astronomers found? They have found that the stars are going away from each other. Galaxies are going away from each other. That means that is called expanding universe. Expanding universe, going away, 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 away. And they have predicted one time will come, afterwards expansion will stop. After expansion, what will be there? Contraction. When we stretch the rubber band, it just expands, 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 and one stage will come, afterwards it cannot be expanded, right? If we expand more, it will I think uh, split into some pieces. Otherwise, it will contract or not. Just leave it. Contraction will take place, and um, they will. They have believed that one day expansion stops, and again they will contract, contract, contract. After some billion years, again it will change into small dot. How it was formed? In the same way, it will end also. Right. So that is uh, the presentation from Einstein group. Big them, give them a big round of applause.
So, uh, today we have discussed these things. Now, children, uh, please open your book. Page number. What is the page number? Page number? 280. Okay, open your book, page number 280, 81, 82. Three pages I have given. Please read and then start making your notes. Is that clear? Okay, start now. Feeling very lazy?